Hello, all over again, nuggets of wisdom coming at you again, my brothers. I want to continue a series that I've been talking about the hidden power of the subconscious mind. The subtitle Three Ways to Maintain a Positive Subconscious Mind. Let's get it. Welcome back. While they please like, share, hit the notification bell for new content. Like, share. We got to monetize this year. We're very close. Um, life has been lifing. However, this is the year of my monetization on YouTube. So help a brother out. Like, share, hit the notification bell, and help me out. Brothers, I've been talking about this subconscious mind thing for a while, and this has actually been a, a lot for me. In the last week or so, I've been delving into what the subconscious mind is. I've been reading about it. I've been thinking about it. There's not enough to read. It's not enough to walk in the things you've been reading and try to see where your missteps have been over a period of time. When we talk about the subconscious mind, we talk about the conscious mind, the subconscious mind. The conscious mind is how you, what you do daily, how you think soon to, on, on, why you're thinking, how you, your eye gate, your, your ear gate, how you think, your conscious, your, in your mind, you're thinking about what you're going to do before you do make the next step. The subconscious mind is what you do by default. Either you know it or you don't. So a lot of us, myself included, are following the blueprints of our subconscious mind for what we've been, what we, that was indoctrinated into our mind when we probably were younger, seven, eight, nine years old. Even if you're 40 years old today, you are still probably walking from the old operating system. The old operating system, which is your subconscious mind, has a lot of bugs in it, has a lot of issues in it, has a lot of problems in it. So, but what we're trying to say today, let's say you got past that. Let's say now you, you, you now, you, you're now enlightened enough to understand that what has been driving me in 2023, going to 2024, I think that has been plaguing me for years. But now you pass that. You've learned the lessons, you're working your subconscious mind, and you want to make sure that those things that haunt you before are no longer working again. So how do we maintain this? How do we do this? How do we maintain the... Because everybody talking about subconscious mind that everything has, has to be negative. Let's say you've had your positive subconscious mind. How do we do it? How do we make sure that the, the gains we have had, they were no longer going to lose them? So let's get into it. The first thing you need to do is you have to have what I call affirmation, which a lot of you guys understand affirmation speaking words to yourself the great things the things that um things that can actually make sure that you keep that positive subconscious mind posture on a regular basis you need to speak affirmation so like, like let me give you an example i am i yes my money is funny but i am debt free yes i'm moving in my money in my country i'm a multi-millionaire yes i am healthy Yes, I'm doing all these things. So these are the things that this is what I call affirmation. So people speak words into themselves. When you start speaking those words to yourself, at some point you become what you start speaking about. So you become who you say you are. But it's not enough to have affirmation. You need to able to walk in your affirmation. W-O-R-K. You have to walk out your affirmation. So I cannot say I'm healthy, then I go to the mall and eat all the junk that I need to eat. I can say I'm debt free, then I stay in the mall. Then that means that what my affirmation is, is not lining up with what I'm saying. So you have to first work out your affirmation. The next thing you have to do, you have to work in your affirmation. W-A-L-K. I am going to do X, Y, Z. What do I mean by work in? For example, you're going to do diet. That's the work. The working is that, you know, you prep your meals or you have things you are doing. You are very conscious of what you are doing. Everything step you are taking. 
by the time you know it it no longer becomes a conscious thing it becomes a conscious you're not doing it by default you don't even have to think about it you don't have to think about it you just do it you just do it so that's the reason why you should do this affirmation affirmation the next one i want to get into is confirmation how do i get to a point is that i confirm what i start affirming when you start affirming that means what you affirm is now becoming a reality oh he's not just talking this thing he's not just walking this thing he's doing it he's confirming what he affirmed he is confirming what he affirmed he is walking in a way that you've never seen before yes he was his money was funny but we're now seeing the fruit you're confirming the bible says by their foot you shall know them your your foot is now coming out in a way you've never seen before i don't just want to talk things that's why in the in the last couple of months in my life i kept a little quiet and a little low profile enough of the talking i've done the talking i want to be this i want to be that i want to be this i want to do that now it's time to confirm it show me brother show me because people people don't want to look at your reasons they want to look at your results confirm what you say you are stop the nonsense you need to get to that point it doesn't matter what has happened it doesn't matter what's going now is the time to go to war we need to confirm what we are affirm man i can stay there all day i can stay there all day because we live in the era that we do a lot of talking and less walking and that nobody doesn't take hiatus from just being quiet sitting in a certain place to actually walk this thing out and confirm the things they have been talking about enough of that brothers affirmation confirmation the last one i want to read from the book of philippians philippians 4 8 it says finally brethren whatever things are true whatever whatsoever things are honest whatsoever things are just Whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, it of any virtue, and if they have any praise, think on these things. I've come to a conclusion, before I get to my third point, I didn't forget that, that if we do not think, we cannot think. I say that again for the people at the back. If you cannot think, you cannot think. So my last point is appreciation. Sometimes, most of the time, you need to don't, you see, negative things go very quickly. If I have a news on about somebody that went wrong, I guess it will go viral. Messages like this, if I want to talk about who's doing what, bad names, information, how it, it, it's, it's the divide and rule, how we're pitching one person against the other, that will fly. But you know what doesn't fly that much? Good reports. So for example, we hear about bad relationships, but we, and then you can't tell me they're not good ones. But where we hear the most are the bad ones. So whatever thing of virtue, think about those things. Everything in your life is not going down. There is some silver lining somewhere. 
So I need to have appreciation. Olu, what do you, does that mean? What does that have to align with subconscious mind? Thank you for asking. When you start an attitude in your conscious mind, it goes into your subconscious mind. If you are an appreciative person, over a period of time, you will say thanks. The Bible says you give thanks in all things. You will say thanks even when there is a problem. There used to be somebody, I think, called Frank, that says, there's a blessing in the storm. Appreciation. My brothers, my sisters, to maintain a positive subconscious mind is imperative. It is important. We live in an era that every information is coming at us. Either through the TV, social media, what people say. So for you to have your head right on, for you to be able to understand where you are going, you need to work on your subconscious mind. So those good actions, those positive actions, you are acting by default. I guess you get my drift. So let's do a quick recap. Number one, affirmation. Number two, confirmation. And number three, appreciation. It's all the way again, nuggets of wisdom. God bless you. I'm out.